And I'm Dan. Today we're going to go over the DeWalt Tough Box system. It's a new system we kind of... Um, we actually took it water skiing over the summer. Yeah. We did the middle of our Tough Box so right this there. one right here, right? Yep. Cool thing about the Tough Box is they're absolutely that. The toughest boxes out there. We ran an ATV over them. Um, they're pervious to pretty much most water situations. I mean, I was just talking to Eric. If you have a pickup truck and you don't even need a bed cover, if your tools are sitting out in this in the rain, whatever... They're pretty much going to be protected. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a real nice box. Well, even the one we dragged through the water when we got done, out of all that water pressure that's pushing on it, there was just a tiny bit of water in Right. There, Big, know. nice, long rubber seal in it. It was great. Very nice. We just started releasing them, so availability still kind of limited on them. So I don't know which ones. Uh, you know, I know these ones are the most available right now, and I have seen them on Amazon for around 40 to 60 bucks, I think, something like that. What did you see them for, Eric? Yeah, this one was about... Like almost 40, 50, or 40. This one was 50, this one was 60 bucks, you know. Cart was how much? 160? <clears throat> yeah, 160, $170. But the cart's very cool, man. I like how these actually will show you how these actually slide in here. And then you can put concrete on the bottom if you want to, or you can have the big box down there. Um, and then it's a nice locking mechanism in the back to actually lock right, them in that's place. Not, yeah, so you can't take them. The, without the cart, the box is also stacked to themselves via these yellow clips right here. And I mean, these are just, <clears throat> they're made out of a structural foam, uh, and they're just awesome, you know? I just, I can't believe how awesome they are. I love them for everything. And, and another tool blog actually said, well, he bought like 20 of them, and he said that the cart was overbuilt. I mean, that's good for a tool blogger to say, hey, that cart's overbuilt. You want overbuilt. I don't see how something going to be overbuilt. It's tough. Well, it's good. Well, it's for not what overbuilt. It, it just means it's I, tough. I what like do you mean? It. But it's just for what it is. Let's yeah. go over the cart. Let's take this top one off. <clears throat> All right. So basically with the cart, let's get these out of the way. Basically with the cart, it's like a hand truck, okay? It's extra wide. It's going to give you stability going around corners and stuff like that. But Eric did note that it being so wide, um, it might not get through certain situations. Is that what you were saying? Tighter situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you said something, Eric. Well, on some of the older homes and stuff like that, I know downtown, you know. They have smaller doorways than that? Not doorways, but some of their hallways are pretty small. Okay. You know. Smaller than 27 inches. Have you ever been in some of those homes, man, when people have all those dead junk and crap sitting there? That's true. You know? That's I'm not true. saying I like the wider base is what I'm saying. I yeah. do like the wider base. I'm just... No, you okay. Know. You're, you're entitled to your opinion here on Tools in Action. Even though it's wrong, but no. <laughs> it's always wrong. But anyways, so this is cool. So let's say you've already got to the job site. Boom. You can have all your three uh, tools, two boxes out. You can have your uh, laborers uh, running the... Uh, cargo back and forth while your guys are working or whatnot, running and get supplies, going to get shingles or whatever you need. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know about shingles. <laughs> but what would you carry? Like Eric said, bags of concrete, um, you know. Uh, even Anything that's heavy, man. Big items, man. You, you know? probably put a fridge on this thing. So well, I don't know what's this weight rated at. Uh, as much as you can put on it. Oh, well, it's then you can tough. put the space shuttle. You're Go ahead and pull it down the street, man. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, very cool. And then this one's configured for these boxes. You can put them in all different configurations. You can have all little boxes, uh, two big boxes, one little box up top, cargo on the bottom, whatever. So what, that makes it really versatile to go into situations, uh, repetitive situations, maintenance workers, you know, especially mm -hmm. guys at airports. This thing's awesome. You just you know run around, got all your tools there ready to go. And when you want to slide them on, these plastic tabs come out and the tool boxes just go right on it slide right in and boom lock in that's it basically there is no manual locking mechanism that you have to do they're just the latches are spring loaded and they just clamp right on why are you laughing well it's perfect for someone like you who just leaves the crap the stuff sit in the garage and don't go out on a job and do anything no, I know. It's great for show, though. No, I'm gonna start taking it out to job sites. What job sites? <laughs> well, I'm gonna make some. So here we go with the next one. Boom, locks in. Eric, you want to take the honors and do the third box? Yeah. 
Well, before we do that, I want to. Sh this one's actually pretty cool, man. I like this box, this top box. <coughs> the metal latches, <coughs> which are nice, and but one thing I like about it is they have these little bins so you can put screws, stuff like that in there. Um, the top opens up. Put bits. Got my sawzall blades in there. Yeah, my never been used. Saw blade. <laughs> Look at that. that yeah, that's that was used. mine that I left here. Yeah, left right. Here. You know, but here's what's cool. <sighs> so basically on this one, which we'll do a uh, We'll show you right up, now, yeah. But this is really cool because you can have your different bins in here that you want. Put your tool in there. Right. And we do have the extra bins right here. Yep. You can basically... Shake it all around. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. And boom. And I don't know. Yeah, we're showing you. you. Know, all your screws stay, stay right, right in, in place. there. Your tool stay right, stays right there. So it's cool. It's just kind of the design of the top that actually locks the bins into place. Right. So you're not your parts aren't getting spilled out. You're still uh, being economical on your work site. Yeah. Is that the word I'm thinking of? Economical? No. No, I don't know what efficient, you're thinking about. Efficient. You're still being efficient. You gotta slide. Oh, back up. You gotta slide back. They're gonna slide it out. So let's say we do get to the job site. The cart, cart's quite heavy. Let's say this thing weighs a couple hundred pounds, you know, but we're, we're running in and out of offices or something. We wanna make sure this is secured and locked. Right here on the back, we just turn this lever, lever and boom. We can padlock it. We just put a padlock. Boom. Right, boom. Put a padlock on it right there. So it's gonna make a thief a little harder to, to take the. Uh, the whole toolkit. I mean, well, you can still take it, the whole toolkit. In Chicago, yeah, they'll probably just take can't it. take the boxes. Like one at a time, you'd have to take the whole system. Well, yeah, but if it's heavy for one guy, you don't know, see him running down. You can also lock the boxes individually for maximum security. Pretty cool. Made out of structural Does foam. Does this lock the wheels? No. Oh. No. <laughs> So yeah. basically what it <laughs> does is provides them a nice way to take the whole thing at one, <laughs> at one time. Kind of. <laughs> no, but I mean, if they're fast runners. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I mean, it's, you can't prevent theft for everything. I think it's a cool way. I think the lock system's real nice on there because if you're going over like a, you know, bumpy terrain, if you're out actually on a, you know, something like that. Right. But what I like is the stability of this thing. And oh, I mean, yeah, there's no how, flex you, in the What car. was that, 28 inches? What? 20 inches wide? Yeah, 28 That's inches. That's a nice wide bit wheelbase. Yeah, if we're going upstairs, whatever, you know, nice comfort grip here. I don't know. <clears throat> I think these are my uh, most favorite toolboxes out there, hard cases. I mean, I'm going to get more. Oh, yeah, without a doubt, they'll look great sitting in the corner over there. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm going to start going to job sites with them. What? You'll never go to a job site, dude. <laughs> yeah, I will. You'll throw this all in the back of your truck to drive around and show people. Say, look at what I got. And then you'll come home. <laughs> right hey, right but that would be cool. Exactly. <laughs> 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 I guarantee you, you look at these boxes a year from now, they're going to look brand new. But nothing wrong with it, man. Whatever you want to do with your stuff. They're awesome. I want to say lifetime warranty, but I'm not positive. If not, it, is, don't say it. it is a three-year. Yeah, we'll put that at the bottom. Yeah. But, but it's a cool system, man. I like I like the interchangeable. I like the, you know, the room in there. I like how the boxes are different. You've got places to store things, you know, which is cool. I like how stable it is. I like how you know once you lock these boxes onto the cart itself. I mean, it really acts as one unit and mm -hmm. not just like you know. I mean, these are heavy. You're not going to have them sliding off. Once they're on there, they're on there pretty good. Well, I like the fact too, like you said, man. I can throw them in the back of the truck and. Sometimes I don't take my stuff out at night. I forget. I get home. You know, I got the little drunk midgets sitting out front that want to play or something like that. I can uh, leave this back there overnight. It can snow, rain, and come back the next morning. Right. It's fine. Yeah, definitely. I mean, here's what I'm doing with mine. Ready? I'm going to have this set up for my mobile application. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go ahead. I want to hear if this. Eric calls me in the middle of the night and, uh, you know, something's leaking at his house and he needs some real tools. I'll be on over with the uh, yellow and black. What? <laughs> Dude, can't you call somebody? I don't want to call out right now. It's raining. Yeah. That's what I'd hear from you. So I'm getting something like that. We're going to get one. We're going to put it on the trailer. I totally want to put one of these on the trailer because I think it's going to be the best trailer box out there. I mean, there's aluminum ones. These are a lot oh, yeah, more inexpensive, are, yeah. and they're way better. Yeah. You know? So actually, that's a good test for them. We're going to see how it holds up to a Chicago winter. 
but I just got to figure out how to mount it on the trailer and get it in the spot we want. And then I'm going to put a few in my pickup truck bed. You know? I mean, I have a tonneau cover, so it's going to be locked, but to keep my tools in, because I had a Milwaukee Sawzall, and I had it in the back of my ridge line, and it was sealed in the back, and uh, I hardly ever used it. And when I w was trading it in, I pulled it out. It was all rusted just from the moisture. That was your first problem. What? You bought a ridge line. <laughs> I was going rectify it by selling it, so. <laughs> I love that show. This trick was cool. So, all right, uh, go ahead and check out toolsinaction.com. Don't forget to check out the DeWaltOwnersGroup.com. Yep. There, there's big things going to be happening. Yep. Maybe. Possibly. Possibly. It's a good chance so this time. We'll see. But well, these are actually cool boxes, man. Check out uh, the DeWalt Tough Box. Check it out.